A lot of our DSCI members ask us, where do I start? Uh, I want to transform my, my supply chain and become more digital, uh, but it's such a vast undertaking, it's such a broad undertaking. Uh, how do, we, how do we break this problem down into something that's manageable? So what we usually recommend is that you start looking at customer segments. Understand who are your customers in certain segments, what characteristics do they uh, exhibit, um, who has data about those segments. Uh, would marketing and sales, for instance, have uh, information that would be useful in understanding their characteristics? The second step would be to develop a segment service strategy. So how can we meet or exceed those customer expectations in that segment. Uh, and this is where uh, the potential for business model innovation really comes out. Uh, so this is where your opportunity to not just replicate what has been done before, uh, but to think about new business models that can be enabled by digital supply chain um, opportunities. The second or third step would be then to go to uh, what is a, a digital supply chain segment design. What is the best digital supply chain uh, given the characteristics, given the strategy that you're trying to implement? Uh, and then this is where opportunities for uh, planning, source, make, deliver, all those processes across order fulfillment, forecasting and inventory management all need to come together uh, to enable uh, a full spectrum supply network. Uh, not just a linear supply chain, but a network of value chain actors that are working together uh, to try to create new value and, uh, and really delight customers. Uh, finally, uh, digital supply chain actions. Uh, this is where leadership culture, training, development, uh, developing your people, uh, as well as integrating them into the organization effectively. This is how you can really drive supply chain transformation, reducing the trade-offs between supply chain cost uh, and improving customer happiness.